Hey guys, my name is Momo7, and I'm here to show you how to download Reshade, as well as some of the Reshade filters I use on my stream on a daily basis. This has been a very hot topic in my stream for a very long time now, as people have been constantly asking me which Reshades I like to use, and I thought I'd make this video to kind of show which Reshades I use on different maps, in different scenarios, on different killers, as well as some tips and tricks to use with the Reshade at the end of the video that might be a little bit helpful. Without further ado, I'll get right into the video, and I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing you're going to want to do to download Reshade is go to this website, reshade.me slash hashtag download, which I will link down below in the description. From here, what you're going to want to do is click on this button, download. It'll take you to the bottom of the page. And from there, we're just going to click download Reshade 5.5.1. Once we have the Reshade installer downloaded and opened, we're going to want to click on Dev by Daylight 164 shipping. Do not click on easy anti-cheat as this will only affect the colors of the launcher. And obviously, I think for the most of you, we're going to be wanting to click on actually Dead by Daylight. So we're going to click on Dead by Daylight 164, then click Next. And from here, you're going to be met with a screen that looks like this. We're going to want to use the default option, which is Microsoft DirectX 10 slash 11 slash 12. This depends a lot on the game. If you are playing a different game, maybe we'll use another one of these. But for DVD, it will be Microsoft DirectX 10 slash 11 slash 12. After this, we're going to click Next again. So after that, we'll be met with a screen that looks like this. What we're going to want to do is just click every single one of these. After we're done clicking all of them, we're going to go ahead and click next. And from here, you'll be met with a bunch of screens that look like this. We're going to want to go through all of them and check all. Click next. Same thing here. Check all. Next. And keep on doing this until you're all the way through. Once you're done clicking all of that, all you have to do is click finish. And now we're going to go ahead and open up DVD. So now that we have DVD open, we can go ahead and click home on our keyboards. And this will bring up the overlay. If you don't have home on your keyboard, what you can do is you can go to your search bar and look up on screen keyboard. And from there, you can easily access the home button. Now that we have the overlay open, you can go to the top and click on settings. And from here, what we're going to want to do is change some of these keybinds. Now, obviously, you can do whatever you want for these. But for me personally, I like to change overlay K to shift F2. This will allow me to bring up the overlay overlay whenever I want to. Uh, as for the effect toggle key, I like to change this one to shift F3. This will allow me to turn reshade on and off as I please throughout the match. And as for next preset key, I like to change this one to shift F4. This will allow me to toggle through reshades through different reshade presets, which I'll show you in a little bit uh, throughout the game. And it's very, very helpful. These are the three presets I like to have. Obviously, you can do whatever you want for these. You can add more as you wish, but these are just the ones I like to use. Now, as a new reshade user, it can be very, very daunting look at all, looking at all of these options and deciding what you want to do. That is why I recommend using my reshade filters, which I will be linking down in the description below. These reshade filters can be used on any map in the game. There's a wide variety of them to really tune to your liking. And of course, you can always open them up and change them for yourself if you don't like a certain aspect of them. Uh, of course, though, it is a little bit hard as a newer reshade user to understand what all of these things mean. So I would definitely, definitely recommend just getting used to my reshade filters until maybe later on you can learn about how to use your own reshade. After downloading my reshade files from below, you're going to want to navigate to your file explorer. Click on local disk, program files times 86. Scroll down to Steam, Steam apps, uh, common, dead by daylight, dead by daylight binaries 164 and here you have it what you're going to want to do once you're inside here is drag and drop the files you have downloaded from my description right into this area you can already see a lot of the ones i use in this folder for example cold wind blue black and red normal the nightlight reshade uh, all of these are located within this file so whenever you want to move someone's reshade file to your own reshade you can always just ask them for the file and you move it into this folder right here. To fully demonstrate how this works, I'll give you an example. As you can see, normal is clearly listed among my five reshades that I have within my reshade. However, if I return to the file location I previously showed you and delete normal, then it will also be deleted from the top left over here. To re-add it, all I need to do is go over here where I've posted all my reshades. I'm gonna click download, and then I'm gonna go to my downloads folder, click on this, Control C to copy it to my keyboard. And then once again, returning right back to where I was, I'm going to go back to this folder and then simply Control V and it will show up right here as well as in Dead by Daylight. 
Now, I'm just gonna go through my reshades and show you which ones I use on different maps. Of course, it is all up to you. You can use reshades in any which way you want. These are just the ways I would recommend personally and the ways I use them on my stream and in competitive matches and in really any time I'm playing DVD. For my normal reshade preset, I like to use it on maps like Macmillan, Auto Haven, Red Forest, Badham Preschool, and Yamaoka. For my blue reshade, I like to use it on maps like Crotus Pren, Larry's Memorial Institute, Garden of Joy, Eerie of Crows, Raccoon City Police Department, Middle Elementary School, Swamp, and Haddonfield. As for my cold wind reshade, I like to use it on maps, well, like Cold Wind, Dead Dog Saloon, and Mount Ormond Resort. Me Plant is a very flexible map, but I like either Cold Wind, Blue, or maybe even Normal. Another fun reshade to use is this black and red filter. It especially makes Auto Haven maps look really, really pretty. And I think it is a very enjoyable way to play the game every once in a while. Another excellent option to make maps look a lot, lot brighter is the Nightlight reshade. This makes everything extremely bright, but it is such an easy reshade to download and to use that I definitely recommend it for anyone who wants a really, really bright game. The Nightlight reshade is also a very, very strong thing versus the Dredge's power Nightfall. As you can see, it's usually very, very dark and hard to see within the Nightfall's power. However, if you do turn on the Nightlight reshade, everything becomes a lot, lot clearer and it's a lot, lot easier to see the things around you and the resources you have to use, as well as the Dredge himself. Last thing I want to show you guys really, really fast before I end off this video is my crosshair. Every single one of my reshades has a crosshair configured. All you have to do is look up magic and you will see something that looks like this. We're going to check it off. We can see in the center of our screen, we have a little dot. This is the exact center of our screen and we can use it especially very, very well on killers like Wesker, on killers like Huntress, on killers like Deathslinger, and it helps a lot in chase. Now, I do already have this completely configured in my settings. However, if you are making your own reshade, you're going to have to set this up from scratch. If you do end up making your own, make sure you copy these exact settings for a magical rectangle if you do want to cross there incorporate it into your reshade. Also, make sure that it's somewhere near the top so that whenever you open up your reshade menu, you can simply click and check off the box or turn it off. To do this, we're going to click act at the top as soon as we have it checked off and this will leave at the top. When we uncheck it, it will still remain in the same exact place. That's going to do it for this video, guys. I really appreciate all of you for watching and I hope you learned everything you need to know to download Reshade and use my filters effectively. If this video helped you, I would really appreciate if you dropped a sub so that my channel will continue to grow. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to send me a Discord DM or leave a comment underneath this video and I will try to get back to you as soon as humanly possible. With that being said, I hope to see you in my next stream and I wish you all a lovely rest of your day.